the international court of justice in the hague is being asked to arbitrate in a bitter and long-running dispute over whaling in the southern ocean australia argues it's time to stop the illegal and unnecessary slaughter of thousands of animals in the icy waters of the antarctic it wants the court to halt japan's scientific research program canberra alleges that it breaches international law including the global moratorium on commercial whaling and has no relevance to marine conservation. We want commercial whaling to stop and that includes the so-called scientific whaling program that Japan has been carrying on for many years. 10,000 whales, in fact more than 10,000 whales, have been killed as a result of Japan's so-called scientific whaling program since the moratorium commenced in the mid-1980s. There's been a ban on commercial hunting for a quarter of a century. But Japan aims to catch about a thousand whales each year for what it calls research. <laughs> Professor Donald Rothwell from the Australian National University says the court could order Japan to scale back its whaling activities to the point where they're no longer viable. One of the key issues is that Article 8 of the Whaling Convention does say that scientific research is legitimate. So the court might be confronted with trying to put numbers around how many whales can legitimately be taken for scientific research and what numbers cannot. There's been a ban on commercial hunting for a quarter of a century. But Japan aims to catch about a thousand whales each year for what it calls research. Officials in Tokyo also stress there are compelling cultural reasons behind the annual hunt. They also insist their whaling operations are ecologically sustainable. Australia, however, strongly disagrees and will be supported by New Zealand at the International Court of Justice. Experts say its decision will be legally binding. Phil Mercer, BBC News, Sydney.